dearest Texas history scholars, how are you today? We will be talking about Stephen F. Austin's impresario contract. We're going to do our own project, but first we have to understand how Stephen F. Austin set his up. Austin advertised in newspapers and on broadsides. That means the size of buildings to recruit the first 300 families to come to Texas. This is how it would work. Each impresario would sign a contract with the government of Mexico whereby they would promise to settle a certain number of families. According to Austin's colony plan, this is how it would work. Each man would get 640 acres for himself. If he brought his wife with him, he would get an additional 320 acres. The man would be given 160 acres per child, and he would be given 80 acres for each slave the man brought to Texas. Persons of specialty... would receive more land. That means if they're a doctor or a welder or they have some type of useful skill that a colony in Texas could use. Surveying and measuring would be done to determine the boundary the boundaries of land. Settlers would pay Austin 12.5 cents per acre for his surveying services. The settler requirements were that they must pay Stephen F. Austin 12.5 cents per acre for his surveying services. They must swear an oath of allegiance to Spain slash Mexico and then they must become Mexican citizens, including learning Spanish. They had to agree to convert to Catholicism, which is the Catholic faith. Faith, And then Stephen F. Austin also added that he wanted no drunkards, no gamblers, no profane swearers. That would be people that say bad words. And then he said no idlers, which means people that do nothing. Everyone has to be willing to work. He also added that they must be of good moral character. 